today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to replace the screen on a Dell E6420. Unfortunately this one fell off of a countertop and shattered the screen on the inside. The first step is to remove this plastic bezel that is on the outside edge of the screen. Uh, you can do this in a couple different ways. Really you just need to get some tool, preferably something soft so you don't scuff up anything, to get up underneath here and then there's just a few pop rivets go around the outside here and you just gradually loosen them up one by one you may have to apply a good bit of pressure to do so the next step requires the use of either a P0 or a P1 screwdriver here I'm using a P0 uh, it's a little bit easier to work with for me and what you're going to want to do is you're going to remove these screws that are anchoring the monitor into the back of the case there's two in the lower left two in the lower right and one in each top corner. Now that the screws are removed we can just pretty much pull the screen forward and up and out of the bracket that holds it here to the casing. So you're going to pull it forward from the top and then slide it out from the bottom. The next step is going to be to remove this cable here from the back of the screen. You have to be very careful. It's a 40 pin connector you don't want to nick any of the wires or any of the leads. Uh, get to pull back this tape, and then this tape right here, and then you're going to gradually work this out side by side, uh, moving it side to side here to get it loose. And now the screen can be separated from the computer itself, and you're ready to put your new one in. Now that the old monitors are removed, what you need to do next is actually remove these brackets on the outside of the old monitor. And there will be screws, one in each corner here on the sides. And we'll need to attach those new brackets to the, or the old brackets to the new monitor. Now that I have the old brackets installed on the new screen, I've reinserted the video cable. And it's time to go ahead and slide the bracket and screen back into place behind those tabs on the bottom. Now that I have the monitor laid back into place, before I go ahead and place the screws, let's go ahead and turn the monitor on, test it and make sure the connection's good. And it seems to be working just fine. Uh, booting up here into Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and place our screws back in the corners exactly as they were before, and then reinstall the bezel. Alright, so now that I've got the screen back in place and it's tested and working. I've reinstalled the screws in the corners and now it's time to just snap the bezel back into place. You should just be able to press it into the spots here. Again you do want to be gentle and definitely don't uh, press too hard near the edges of the screen. And gradually work your way around the edges until all of the Little snaps are into place. And if you have it all aligned, uh, it should open and close easily, and the job will be complete.